Hello everybody, this is Mystic Jen. I'm here with a daily tarot card reading for for Friday the 14th of June 2019. This will be a general reading. It's not going to be resonate with everybody. So keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Please do make sure you like and subscribe. I'm very close to my 1,000 subscriber goal. And once I reach that, I am giving away two free readings worth of $35 value in-depth readings. So make sure you share my videos as well. And I've got my mood back from my table. I just want to show this. Uh, you're probably not going to see it too well. But I got batteries for my... Um, Lo, lo, um, salt lamp S or not batteries um, light bulbs every time I'm in the store I think I need light I need a battery I need a battery and I forget but got it now so we're gonna go ahead let me I think I'm gonna start with these okay So I keep adjusting the camera. And I do not own any rights to the music that I'm playing. It's actually a meditation on YouTube that I... On YouTube on my tablet. So... Okay, so let's see what comes up here. Got my incense going, which you can see the nice flow. Okay, uh, let's see what messages we have here. Queen of Keys. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, she's looking out over her land. She's in charge of herself. She's very confident. She's looking over everything that she has built up and everything that she has nurtured. She is like the Empress. So, so this is definitely, uh, and this is an earth sign typically. You might be dealing with an earth sign or you may be um, asked to take on the qualities of this earth sign. She thinks very practical, okay? So I think this is a day that's gonna be called, I, I get a very calming energy so this might be a calm day or a need to be calm and think think on practical levels taking care of the kids taking care of the house nurturing and you might need to this might be some self-nurturing just saying you might this might be calling you to nurture yourself okay let's hope I don't catch this on fire this card okay Okay, we're gonna take a look and see what else comes up here. Make some candles, but it's buried in totes behind other things. I'm like, eh, how am I gonna do this? You know, but I will figure it out. Okay, what other messages do we have for the 14th? We have the Two of Cups coming together. This is a love connection. This is a partnership. Could even be soulmate energy, just saying. We also have the three of coins. This is putting some hard work and dedication. This is also being recognized for your craft, 
But I think that somebody has put, has finally has decided to put some work and dedication into a love connection here. A nice progression, two to a three, okay? Uh, this also might be going to work for the money for your partner. You know, it could be so mundane as that. Um, but I'm feeling like this is much deeper. And this is a connection that does need to be worked on and does need to be nurtured. Okay, like the Queen of Keys there. It does need to be nurtured. Okay. Um, and we have the Six of Wands, which brings victory. Okay. So we have a ni really nice progression here. We have a very lo a love connection that is going to take some work. And some people are poor. It's a two-sided. It's teamwork. It's two people working together. And you might even be working together as a team, even in business. Because the Queen of Keys is also a business owner. And it becomes very successful. You two are recognized as a couple. Just saying. Okay, let's get some clarification on the Two of Cups, please. We have the Five of Swords. So what I'm feeling already is that there has been some conflict and somebody has some ego. Okay, and under the deck is the Nine of Coins. So this could actually be symbolizing... Uh, the, the relationship can be in trouble, okay? It is going to take teamwork and working together to work this out. Somebody needs to work on giving up the ego. Or someone else is going to walk and become independent on their own, okay? Um, that might be the Queen of King, the Queen of Keys who is deciding, you know what? I don't need this, Okay? And we've got the hangman in reverse. And she is saying, I really am done trying to hang in there while somebody's ego is larger than the universe. It thinks that they're God's gift to men or God's gift to women. Okay? Either way, I... I keep, the cards are female energy and male energy here, but um, it could go either way. Let's put it this way. The energies could flip-flop, okay? Um, and as far as the two of coins, what needs to be done here? Obviously, there needs to be, it needs to be a collaboration to pull this together. So if you are the man, you need to get your act together, or if you're the woman that's got this problem. See, we have the Nine of Wands here. Someone's tired of fighting. Someone's very tired and weary. Okay? So, the fight's getting old is what I'm being told. So, it's time you come together and try to bring this back. Drop the defenses. Drop the walls. Okay? I feel like communication is key. And we have the Fool. Starting over. So, what I am feeling here is, okay, right away, dropping the ego. You know, being practical, but dropping the ego or somebody is going to go away. Again, somebody is tired of hanging in there. You know, there's got to be some movement, some progression, some improvement, or, or I'm gone is what I hear. And over here we have somebody who is who's, who's gaining the energy. They were tired. But they're gaining the energy and the strength to possibly move on their own. And we have the strength. Huh. Somebody's weary. Because we have the strength reversed here. Okay. Um. <coughs> so I'm definitely feeling like this could go two ways. Somebody could leave the situation because they're tired of it or they're tired of fighting and it's time you, and you, and this is about working together, pulling together, you know, 
stop dominating. I'm being told someone needs to stop dominating. Start with a clean slate in this relationship if you want it to last and want it to work. Okay, we're going to get some other information about the Six of Wands. These are underlying currents. The main theme is that it's wor about working together and being victorious. And yes, it can. <laughs> Here's a, here is um, the faith. It's about not having, I mean, you have to have faith. And we have the Magician upright. So we have the faith, uh, Ace of Wands reversed and the Magician upright. Okay. And we have the Two of Swords. Okay. So there's a lot of issues. And I think the big one is somebody domineering, somebody um, being, um, having an ego. They're the boss. There's been a lot of conflicts, a lot of fighting and arguing. It's what I see here. Okay. So, I feel you're at a make it or break it point. You're at a crossroads. Now, not later, is the time to pull together as a team. To work through this. No one domineering anybody. Dropping the walls of communication. Because I, f I see a wall of communication that's up. That you're not really communicating back and forth right now. It stopped. The waiting time is over. You're, it's like the hourglass is just about empty. Now is the time to pull together. If you pull together and work together, you have a chance of a brand new start. Right here. You know, stop, get, dump the lack of faith. Take, you've got the tools, okay? You have the power to make this work. Stop, stop, stop blocking yourself, okay? This is a card of Libra. You know, Libra's about balance. Libra doesn't want to see the, you know, I know, because I have a lot of Libra in me. Somebody does not want to see the situation for as it is. They want to see the situation for what it was, what they, the good times that they remember. They don't want to face the problems. Somebody doesn't want to face the problems. But it's time to face the problems. It's time to have faith. It's time to take action. Take action is going to bring success. Okay. Um... Let's get a couple Romance Angel cards here. I said a couple, not 20. <laughs> I mean, spirit's very high, very, very strong, wanting to speak. out here express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture there's a lack of and I'm seeing this here there's a lack of passion right now because somebody's holding back somebody's closed off you need to work together ignite that flame again I it's not like there's no love there I'm not feeling that there's a lack of love I feel like there's a lack of communication. Uh, uh, you know, not seeing eye to eye. But express your love. That's going to help bridge the gap. Help start, help you guys start working together. And you deserve love. You deserve to be happy.
And there's definitely, st there's still an attraction there. But it's a matter of lighting that flame again. Okay. So this is what I have for you for the 15th, or 14th, I'm sorry, for June 14th, 2019. Again, please do make sure you like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. Thank you and have a great day.